A total of 16 robots have begun their journey to be the 15 pound champion. Tonight, four robots will be eliminated. Welcome back to Sparks Will Fly! Last time we saw some tough, brutal battles in round one. So I bet you're ready for the next round. Well, let's start off with the losers bracket. First up in the gray corner, we have the yellow undercutter of animosity. And is the opponent in the black corner we have under you. Let's begin the battle. Robots ready. And here we go. Both robots are up to speed. Animosity delivering the first damaging hit to under you. Under you strikes back. Another damaging hit by Animosity. Under you is... Ugh. Under you is running away. No, 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 no. You have to go after Animosity under you. Yeah. Animosity gives chase and deliver another damaging blow to under you. Under you was pinned, but he's free. Animosity... Still giving chase, delivering a number of damaging blow to under you. Oh, that was a miss. Big head on collision, and someone lost a part. And it's both robots. Under you lost the tooth. Animosity lost part of his bar. Both robots have taken some serious damage from each other. Oh! Animosity lost the other part of his bar. But look at this. Under you lost the other two. So, it's gonna be a push battle now. However, under you still has his disc spinning. But can he still do damage to Animosity? It seems he can, but Under You seems to be pushing Animosity a little bit. This is going to be quite a challenge for Under You, but he's not backing down. And what can Animosity do? Just ram and push. But, there are no hazards activated. Now, under you, pushing and able to flip Animosity over. Animosity has a self rider but he needs his bard to help him out, making it very useless. Under you, still moving around, Animosity looks like he's gonna get counted out. And he's done. Under you wins by knockout. With Animosity being the first eliminated, let's move on to the next battle. Okay, in the gray corner we have the small spinner of Hazard. His opponent in the black corner the pushing robot of El Kaja. Let's begin the second battle of the losers bracket. Robots ready. And here we go. As we're charging in, El Kaja, El Kaja is taken on the wall, and Hazard took full opportunity to do some damage to El Kaja. 
Here we go again. Oh. Little damage was caused there. And again, little damage was caused by Hazard now doing some damage on the underbelly of El Kaja. Here we go again. Oh, a miss, but El Kaja was like playing possum. But now he's given a ride and slammed. And he is invertible. Hazard gives chase. It's got to be hard for El Kaja now. Oh, another damaging hit by uh, Hazard. And more and more damage has been caused by Hazard. El Kaja has to think of a plan. Trying to break Hazard's weapon. But he's able to push Hazard into the wall. Hazard trying to rip off one of the ram plates of El Kaja. El Kaja seems he's just driving around, doesn't really care what's going on. I think he was acting like a whack bot for a moment. El Kaja finally doing some aggression here. Pinning and shoving Hazard into the wall, trying to get him in the corner, but Hazard, again, trying to do some damage onto the top plate now. Hazard, again and again, showing some aggression, damage, and strategy. We have less than a minute left in the fight. I think Hazard needs a bigger weapon next time. But, still showing some aggression and damage. Pushing, shoving, oh, El Kaja was on top of that. But, Hazard not backing down. We have 30 seconds left in the fight. Hazard did very little damage. He seems to be more like a grinder than a beater bot. 15 seconds left in the fight. Looks like it's gonna go to the judges unless Hazard can deliver a damaging blow and end in a KO. And it looks like, oh! El Kaja stranded. Oh, that was not a good place to end the fight. But it's going to go to the judges. The results from the judges are in. And the winner by a judge's decision is... Hazard! And just like that, El Kaja is the second bot eliminated and Hazard advances on. Let's move on to the third battle of the loser's bracket. Alright, in the gray corner we have the wedge robot with four spikes. It's Spike! His opponent in the black corner, it's Cataphract. Let's begin this battle. Robots ready. Hope you like wedge bot fights because this is going to be full on aggression and strategy. Oh! That was a huge hit by Spike and showing some great sportsmanship. Knocking Cataphract back onto his wheels. Cataphract shoving Spike for a little bit, trying to pin him into the corner, but Spike is able to free himself, now doing some damaging hits with those spikes. But Cataphract pinning and pushing Spike into the wall. Oh, Spike just missed his mark. 
but now Counterfract, oh, able to flip Spike over, but Spike is invertible. <laughs> Spike is now able to use those spikes, trying to KO Counterfract. Oh, he's going for those wheels. Can he do it? Counterfract not letting him, but Spike has some speed, almost tipping over Counterfract again and again. But Counterfract got underneath Spike. Oh, huge hit by Spike. Oh, locked heads, but Spike has the most power here. And another great charge. Spike desperately trying to get back on his good side. However, those spikes coming in handy. Oh! A big miss by Spike again and again. The judges are watching very closely. Oh, great hit by Spike. Oh! Spike almost flipped over, same with Counterfract. We have about 48 seconds left in the fight. Spike has been on his back throughout most of the fight, but not anymore. Oh! Great slam by Spike again and again and again! Oh! Spike! It's huge! Power. Give a bell. 20 seconds left in the fight. It seems it's going to go to another judge's decision. Great fight by both robots. Who says wedge bots are boring? Both robots show some great control and aggression. That's it. This fight will go to the judges. The results from the judges are in. And the winner by a judge's decision is... Spike! And how about that? Spike will move on. Calfrack eliminated. Let's move on to the last battle of the losers bracket. Okay, in the gray corner, we have the full pressure flipper of Spring Up. And his opponent in the black corner is the mid cutter of Ryan. Let's begin this battle. Robots ready. Here we go! Spring up! Charges in! Riot up to speed! Oh! Spring up in a great flip! Riot spinning up some more! Oh! Great flip again by Spring up! But Riot desperately trying to dip up one of the wheels of Spring up! Spring up charging in! Missing this time again. Oh, that was a great flip there by Spring Up. Ryan is very close to having a. Well, he's already having a Ryan. Oh! Another great flip by Spring Up. Ryan raging, screaming. He's definitely taking a beating by a flipper by. Spring up, charging again. Riot, not sure what he's doing. Acting like a spinning whack bot. Right? Actually, some good strategy there. Oh, nice gear by uh, Riot there. And again, spring up, flipping Riot. Ryan charges in, but springs up down a small hit there. Great strategy by Spring Up after his, his 
struggling first fight, but uh-oh, uh-oh, spring up, losing a wheel, that's gonna be very tricky, oh, that was weird, um, Riot, able to self right, but, a little flip, I spring up again, <laughs> this is a very, very good fight by both robots. This is going to be very hard for the judges. Spring up with only three wheels struggling big time, but he found a good moment to flip over right again. It's all about strategy now for Spring up. Riot struggling to do some more damage to spring up. Oh, this is going to go to the judges again. This is going to be very, very hard. Let's see what the judges are going to say. The results from the judges are in. And the winner by a judge's decision is... Spring up! Well, that fight could have gone either way, but Riot is eliminated. Alright, let's move on to the winner's bracket. Okay, first fight in the winner's bracket. In the gray corner, we have the Burkle Disc of Interfector. Taking on the Blue Wedge of Godzilla. Let's begin this battle. Robots ready. Off we go. Interfector up to speed. Big hit by both robots, but Godzilla underneath Interfector, pinning him against the wall. Oh, big slam by Godzilla, but now Interfector's on top. Oh, nearly taking off a wheel of Godzilla. Now Interfector's pinning Godzilla into the wall. Already, this is a great battle by both robots. Now Godzilla underneath Interfector and pushing him into the corner. Wow, great. Stuff by Godzilla, but Interfector freeing himself, but Godzilla gives chase, slamming Interfector again, and back into that corner. Oh, slamming him again. Godzilla, one top wedge robot here, but Interfector not giving up. Oh! Big hit by Interfector there. Uh oh. Oh, Godzilla again on top. Interfector still giving chase, but Godzilla's wedge is so low, showing some real good aggression and control. And looks like we're going to need another great hit. Yeah! Interfector. Getting some serious airtime. Oh, pinning Godzilla. Oh, ho, ho, ho. another great hit by Interfector. Again, both robots locking heads. Interfector trying to rip off some armor of Godzilla. Godzilla. One minute remaining in this awesome battle. Oh! Good recovery by Godzilla. But Interfector desperately trying to knock Godzilla on his back. Oh! Small pop there. Now it's Godzilla's turn to be pinned into the corner. Man, oh man, this battle is insane! 
again. Innerbecker pinning Godzilla into the wall. Oh boy. 30 seconds left in this very, very close battle. Oh, Godzilla nearly toppling over, but didn't. A great slam by Interfector there. Oh boy, 10 seconds left. This is gonna be very, very close here. Wonder what the judges are gonna say here. And final slam by Godzilla. This goes to the judges. The results from the judges are in. We have a split decision. Judge Nate scored the battle for Godzilla. Judge Ian scored the battle for Interfector. Judge Chris scored the battle for the winner. Godzilla! What can I say? This fight was so close. In fact, here is Judge Nate's scorecard for this fight. Interfactor was ahead on damage. However, Godzilla was ahead by strategy and control. For that, he gets the second win and Interfactor goes down to the loser's bracket. Okay, for battle number two, we have the small drum of Inconceivable against the big drum spinner of Moab. Oh boy, let's begin this battle. Robots ready. Oh boy, this fight's gonna be epic. Oh! Already? Inconceivable tossing Moab on his back. Told you this fight was gonna be epic. Moab struggling to self right, but Inconceivable is not letting him. Good strategy by Inconceivable. Now, trying away, trying to do some damage on Moab, like. Trying to pop up his lipo battery, tossing a wheel, breaking his beater, anything. But Moab is not quitting. Moab still on his back. Inconceivable slamming and doing some serious damage. Oh, another big pop there by Inconceivable, but now it's his turn to get tossed in the air by Moab. Two minutes left. Oh, this is gonna be quite a battle here. Inconceivable trying to toss Moab again. Oh, Moab, oh! Tossing Inconceivable on his side! Oh no! Oh! But Moab, being a good sportsman, knocking Inconceivable back onto his wheels. But will that cost him? We have to wait and see. Again, Moab doing more damage to Inconceivable. This is one good battle. Definitely a back and forth battle here. Inconceivable, despite being on his back, did a, some damage on Moab's top. Oh, Inconceivable, getting tossed again by Moab. One minute left. Great, great battle here. Are we gonna go, are we gonna get a knockout or go to the judges again? 
give it away. This battle is insane. Inconceivable back on his good side. Ugh. I, I'm just lost from words here. This battle, definitely my favorite battle of the tournament so far. 30 seconds left. Moab trying to toss. Inconceivable again, but it's the other way around. Moab back on his back. Intense. Absolutely intense here. Inconceivable. Chasing his prey. Moab desperately trying to sell prey. Four, three, two, one. What an amazing battle by both robots. The results from the judges are in. And the winner, by a judge's decision, is... INCONCEIVABLE! Well done by both robots here. However, it's INCONCEIVABLE will advance to the next round of the winner's bracket. While Moab goes down to the loser's bracket. The other robot should be a little worried here. Anyway, let's move on to the next battle. Okay, in the gray corner, we have the twin vertical disc of Appa against the twin hammers of Slicey Dicey. This is gonna be another good one. Let's begin this battle. Robots ready. All right, both robots charge. Slicey Dicey on his back, but thanks to those hammers, he can sell free. Slicey Dicey trying to chop and deliver hits to Appa, but Appa's discs are so powerful, it's impossible for Slicey Dicey. However, Slicey Dicey did pull up a Knockout in the last few seconds in round one. Slicey Dicey struggling big time. Appa, great hit there. That was a huge hit. Slicey Dicey unable to self right. That hit was so powerful. That could cost Slicey Dicey big, but you never know. We've seen some shocking moments in major tournaments. It seems Slicey Dicey is fine, but not anymore. Getting tossed again and again by Appa. Appa. Definitely pulling some aggression. Appa charging in, going for those wheels, but Slicey Dicey has some real good speed, not letting Appa going after those wheels. Appa charging in again and again, but Slicey Dicey has some power there, pinning Appa. Slicey Dicey not letting Appa out of that corner, but he has to. We can't delay the fight any longer with all that pinning. One minute left in this fight. Appa, those discs just so powerful. Both robots have some serious speed and Slicey Dicey pinning an Appa again. 
Appa still owning up, getting shoved into the corner again by Slicey Dicey. It seems Slicey Dicey is giving up on those hammers and relying on power. Will that cost him though? 10 seconds left. Looks like it's gonna go to the judges again. Appa delivering one last hit and it will go to the judges. The results from the judges are in. And the winner by a judge's decision is... Appa! Okay, our last fight of the day. In the gray corner, we have the beater of Punchline. His opponent in the black corner is the Igni. Let's begin this battle. Robots ready. All right, here we go. Oh, Punchline getting tossed by the Igni. But Punchline charges in, shoving the Igni into the wall. He's on his side, but after another damaging hit, he's back in the game. The Igni pin and bully into the wall. The Igni lost a part? Looks like he did. He seems very uneven. Punchline has a growl. Oh, oh, oh. The Igni's wedge tossing Punchline on his back. Now, what can Punchline do? He seems to have some trouble. Oh! The Igni switch tossing punchline again. Oh! And again! But punchline still on his back, unable to do damage to, to Igni. Oh! Punchline. Being an acrobat, the AD is like using his wedge. That's his strategy here. But Punchline is trying not to fall for it anymore. And he's back on his good side. Oh! Never mind. <laughs> Punchline, despite being on his back, not giving up and trying to do some damage on the Igni's top armor. Where one minute left in the fight, the Igni lost a tooth. Punchline delivering some small punches again and again. Oh, going for the wheel! Going for the wheel! The Igni not falling for it, but he's getting tossed! Punchline is on the Igni's wedge, being very careful not to get tossed again. Oh, now it's the Igni's turn to get tossed. Ooh! Nearly getting tossed on his back again! We're 20 seconds left. Left in the fight. Digny's seems to have any drive issues now. Punchline has been charging again and again. Probably messed up. Digny's drive system spinning in circles now and tossing Digny on his back. That's it. This fight's going to the judges. The results from the judges are in. We have a split decision. Judge Chris scored the battle for the Igni. 
Judge Nate scored the battle for Punch Line. Judge Ian scored the battle for the winner. Punch Line. Another even fight there, but Punchline stays in the winner's bracket while Tehigny goes down to the loser's bracket. Well then, that completes this episode of Sparks Will Fly. Stay tuned for the next episode.